Good morning. Today, we are uh, trying to test for high not oxides of nitrogen in a smog test here in California. Um, what controls oxides of nitrogen is combustion chamber temperature. In order to bring that combustion chamber temperature down or reduce the oxides of nitrogen in the system, GM put a EGR valve, which is for exhaust gas re recirculation, which is right here. Uh, this is a 2000 Chevy Tahoe 5.7 liter. So what we're going to do is we're going to test that valve to see if it's bad. Then we're going to go ahead. <coughs> we're going to go ahead and test the EGR valve and we're going to check the supply vacuum, which is here, right here. So supply vacuum hose to the valve. This vacuum hose goes to what they call an EGR solenoid valve, which is this one right here. Okay. Then the supply vacuum from the intake manifold from here at the throttle body to the solenoid here. This we already know has vacuum because if we pull this off of here, we should have engine vacuum when the engine is running. So we're going to grab a vacuum gauge and we'll be right back. So right now we have disconnected the solenoid here from the supply line, which is now attached to our tester, which is our vacuum gauge right here. What we're going to do is we're going to start the engine and we're going to go ahead and see if this has vacuum to it. And if it does, we'll shut the engine off right away. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, we have supply vacuum there. So we're going to go ahead and shut it off and go from there. Now we're going to go ahead and start it again. What we did was we hooked up vacuum straight to the valve. So we're going to suck vacuum from our, ourselves here. Our valve opens, then we should get stumbling on the engine and start running rough. And it should start running rough, but it's not, and it's not even holding vacuum. That it should. We're going to grab a brand new EGR valve, we'll show you what that does. So we know that EGR valve is bad because. It didn't hold vacuum. So here we have a brand new EGR valve and we have it hooked up to our gauge again, okay? This is a pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna suck vacuum here and see if it holds vacuum on the new one, which it should. And look right there, see? The new EGR valve holds vacuum and the, new, the old one did not. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out the EGR valve. Now at this time, when we do that, we're going to make sure the passages are clean. So we're going to go ahead and remove this valve, which has two bolts. Uh, both use a 13 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. 